Hey, Lorena, can we talk for a minute? I don't mean to be nosy, but I have to ask you something. What was that about you eating from a dog bowl earlier? Is everything okay with you? I was shocked when I saw that. Oh god, you saw that? That's so humiliating. I'm so sorry you had to witness such a weird thing. I hope you're not grossed out by me. No, no, it's not that. I'm not judging you or anything. I'm just curious why you did that. Is there a reason why you ate from a dog bowl? Is that something you do regularly here? No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. It's just a silly thing I do sometimes, but it's really not a big deal. Really? You like eating from a doggy bowl. Is that what's happening here? Because if that's the case, then I don't mind what you do as long as you're happy and safe. But if that's the case, then... then why are you hiding it? I mean, it, you looked like you were scared someone would catch you, you know? Okay, fine, you got me. I lied about doing it sometimes. I don't know why I said that. The truth is, I broke some dishes and there were none left in the house. So I told everyone I didn't mind eating from the doggy bowl like you saw. I see, but that's the thing. We don't have a pet here, so why do we even have a doggy bowl? Lorena, please, I'm not angry or anything, but... But can you please tell me what's really going on here? Alright, I guess I can't hide it anymore. But you have to promise me you won't freak out, okay? The reason I'm eating from a dog bowl is because your mom made me do it. Well, more like forced me to. What? You are saying that my mom is making you eat from a dog bowl? Are you serious? No, please. Forget I said that. I didn't mean it. Please, just let it go and never bring it up again. This is the first time you've come home in like three years, right? I don't want you to stress over my issues. Lorena, please, don't do this. How can I relax here knowing that something like this is happening? Please, you can trust me. You can talk to me, okay? I just want to know what my mom has done to you. Well, if I tell you what's been going on here, do you swear you won't tell anyone else? I mean it. You can't breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear me, Evan? Of course. You have my word that this stays between us. Now please, just tell me what the hell is going on here. Yes, it's true. Your mom has been making me eat from a dog bowl for a long time. And I don't know how much longer I can take it. Lorena, I am so sorry. This is horrible. What did you ever do to make my mom hate you so much? It's a long story. It's hard to even remember everything. It started out small. She would criticize my cooking and throw away my food. Then she would toss out my stuff that she said was cluttering the house. She even got rid of all my makeup. She said I should spend more time cleaning than looking pretty. But I had some really nice products. That's awful. Lorena, I'm so, so sorry. And the worst part is nobody knows about this, do they? No, they don't. But it's not all your mom's fault. It's mine, too. I'm such a fool. And your mom is such a perfectionist. She would always point out my mistakes and make me feel bad. And over time, she got more and more abusive and cruel. Lorena, please, don't blame yourself. Everyone makes mistakes. And even if you did, that doesn't justify what my mom is doing to you. You're not a fool, and you don't have to be perfect. You're a human being, just like the rest of us. And you deserve dignity. But tell me, what about my brother Sam? Is he doing anything to help you? No, he doesn't know anything. And your mom is always so nice to me when there are other people around. But I can tell she's seething inside. I can see it in her eyes. The way she glares at me when we're alone. I can feel the hatred she has for me. And you know what? I think it all started when your dad died. What? You mean my mom has been treating you like this ever since my dad passed away? Yes, that's right. But that means it's been as long as you've been away, right? I guess it makes sense. After he died, I was stuck with your mom at home a lot more. I should have come home more often. I should have checked on you. I'm so, so sorry, Lorena. I'm sorry I didn't see what was happening and stop it. Don't apologize, Evan. It's not your fault. I didn't want to ruin your visit with my problems. But look what I've done. I've made you feel guilty for something you had nothing to do with. 
Lorena, you're too kind. Do you realize that? Maybe you should stand up for yourself more. You should get angry sometimes. I mean, if what you're telling me is true, then my mom has been torturing you for three years. Only three years? Feels like an eternity. I still don't understand why. Your mom was so nice when we first met. That's why I blame myself so much. I think I must have done something to make her change. I get it. I've seen my mom change too. I've seen her get more and more bitter. But I never imagined she would sink this low. I don't care what's going on between you two. Making you eat from a dog bowl is beyond cruel. I know, but it's not as bad as it sounds. I mean, I don't mind dogs. I really don't. Lorena, come on! We both know that's not the issue here. But I have to say, I'm impressed by how strong you are. To endure this kind of abuse from your own mother-in-law. Well, anyway, don't forget what you promised me, okay? You promised me you wouldn't tell anyone about this, right? Y yes, I know. And I won't. But I have to talk to my mom about this. You don't want this to go on, do you? You can't be happy living like this. Well, I won't lie. It's not easy, Evan. It's really, really hard. I bet it is. And you don't have to put up with this. So please, just trust me. I'll make sure this never happens to you again. Evan, thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. Hey, Mom. Are you there? I need to talk to you about something. There's something that's been bothering me, and I hope you don't mind. Oh, Evan, I'm so happy you're home. It's been ages since I've seen my little boy. Of course we can talk. What's on your mind? Well, Mom, I want to talk to you about Lorena. I'm curious. What do you think about her? You want to know what I think of Lorena? Why do you ask? Well, I just want to make sure you two are getting along fine. I mean, have you had any problems with her? It seems like everything is okay here, but you never know until you ask, right? I'm asking because I'm thinking about getting married soon. And I want to know how you feel about living with your daughter-in-law. I see. Well, that's understandable, I guess. Hmm, what can I say about Lorena? Well, to be honest with you, I think she's a bit dim sometimes. And she could definitely use some improvement in following instructions. Really? Is that how you feel about her? So you think she doesn't listen to you when you tell her what to do? Well, that's what happens. But it's not my fault. It's her fault. She's the daughter-in-law after all. But what can you expect from these spoiled kids these days? That's why it's my duty as the mother-in-law to teach these young girls how to be good wives and daughters-in-law. But I guess some people might call that bullying these days. You know how sensitive your generation is. I see. Well, thanks for being honest with me, Mom. I guess I have a better idea of how you feel about Lorena now. Well, of course, I wouldn't keep anything from you. Besides, I'm sure you've seen it for yourself since you've been here. So you're saying you've been pretty harsh with Lorena then? Of course I have. She gave me no choice. And as her mother-in-law, I had to take matters into my own hands and make sure she behaved. But tell me, Evan, has Lorena said anything bad about me to you? I know she's such a whiner and a liar. She'll make up all kinds of stories about how awful I am just to get sympathy from you. No, Mom. Lorena hasn't said anything bad about you. It's just that this is the first time I've been home in so long. And... I was a bit shocked when I saw Lorena eating from a dog bowl the other day. Did you make her do that? Or did she do that on her own? What's the deal with that? Of course, I made her do that. You've no idea what I've been through to try and fix that girl. But all she does is moan and groan about how hard her life is. She's just lazy and doesn't want to do her chores like she's supposed to. That's why I made her eat from that bowl. If she acts like a wild dog, then she'll eat like one until she learns. Mom, are you serious? How can you treat another human being like that? What are you talking about? I told you I'm doing this for Lena's good. Really? You think this is good for her? 
then why don't you show everyone how you treat her? Why don't you let my brother see what you're doing to his wife? I talked to him, and he had no clue about any of this. You must have been hiding it from him, right? No, you're wrong. I was just trying to spare him the trouble. You know how busy he is with work. I didn't want to bother him with this nonsense. He needs to focus on his career. But why? Why do you hate Lorena so much? What did she ever do to you? You're not listening, Evan. I don't hate her. I'm just trying to help her. She's so stupid, and she needs someone to guide her. She needs to listen to everything I say. It's not my fault she's so worthless, but I'm doing my best to change that. You should be grateful for what I'm doing. So you think Lorena is worthless? Mom, I'm appalled. I didn't think you were this kind of person. You've given me all kinds of excuses, but all I hear is that you can't stand her. Am I right? So what? It's my house. I can do what I want. She's the one who married my son and moved in with me. I know that, Mom. But don't you see how terrible you've been to her? I don't care what you see. I know it's best for her and I'm doing it for her sake. She has to eat from a dog bowl until she learns how to be a decent person. But enough about that stupid girl. Don't let her ruin your time here. You've been away for so long. I can't take this anymore, Mom. I want nothing to do with you. You're not my mom. What are you saying? How can you act like this because of some silly girl who can't follow simple orders? You know, I wanted to believe there was more to this. I wanted to believe there was something I was missing. Something that would make sense of this madness. But I'm afraid it's even worse than I thought. And if this is how you choose to treat people, then... You're not my mom. Evan, what are you talking about? You haven't been home in three years, and this is how you behave? Did you really come all this way just to fight with your family? I'm sorry, Mom, but there's nothing to fight about. I know what I have to do. I've made up my mind. You're not my mother anymore. Please, Evan. You're just acting ridiculous right now. I mean, what in the world has gotten into you? You used to be such a sweet boy who would always listen to what I said. Are you really going to try and ruin things with your own mom just for this dumb woman? Why do you have to insult her in every breath that you mention her, mom? Why can't you just let Lorena live the way that she chooses to live? Why do you have to try and control every bit of her life? I'm sorry, Evan, but you don't live here. And you don't know what it's like sharing a space with her. I'm only doing what I have to do in order to keep my house running. And how in the world does making her eat from a dog bowl accomplish that, huh? What is even the point of that? It is part of an elaborate system of rewards and punishments that I've set up for Lorena, if you must know. You mean it goes even bigger than this? You have this whole thing systemized now. That really is just taking things way too far. Mom, what is the matter with you? Don't you have any shame at all? I'll give you one more chance to own up to the horrible way that you've been treating Lorena. And just what do I even have to own up to? I know that I'm right, and that's the end of it. I don't have anything to own up to or admit, because everything I've been doing has been right. Okay then, Mom. If you're really going to be like this, I think I have to ask you to leave the house. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? What do you mean, leave the house? I mean that I bought this house, right? It's in my name. Of course, when I did, it was because I wanted to make sure that you would have a place to live when it was clear that Dad wasn't going to make it. But you can't live here if you're going to treat Lorena this way. No, hold on just a second. You're not really serious about that, are you? I mean, that's taking things way too far. The only person taking things too far here is you. Mom, you are acting like some kind of school bully when you should be the adult here. You should be the adult here. Well, I refuse to support someone who treats another human being the way you treat Lorena. Now get out! Wait, you can't be doing this to me. I'm your mother. Oh, don't worry. Neither you nor Sam are going to be staying here any longer. What is that supposed to mean? What are you trying to pull here? I've noticed that Lorena has bruises on her knees and back. I tried to ask her about where those come from one day, 
and she refused to tell me. Well, I could tell from looking in her eyes that it was as I feared. So then, you're telling me that you're really going to choose this other woman over your own mother and brother? I can't believe it. While you were busy psychologically torturing Lorena, you were standing by while Sam abused her physically. Oh, please. Nobody was torturing or abusing anybody. The whole thing is just getting to be ridiculous. Except for the fact that I have video evidence of both you and Sam treating Lorena horribly. What do you mean? What video? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that I have footage that was recorded in private. While you had no idea that you were being watched. I don't care what you say. I'm still not going to be moving out. You really are horrible. Do you know that, Mom? I know all about how Lorena is always the first person to get up in the house. First, she has to pack Sam's lunch for work. Then, she makes breakfast for the two of you. After that, you make her do all the cleaning and all the washing and cleaning around the house. Then you make her cook your lunch, do the shopping, cook dinner, and fold all the laundry. You've been treating Lorena like a servant, not your daughter-in-law. For the last time? I am doing all of that for her sake. Why can't you get that? If I didn't tell her what to do, she would be sitting around on the sofa watching TV all day. And just what's wrong with taking a day off where that is all you do now and then, huh? Because from what I've heard, Lorena barely has any time to sleep with how busy you're keeping her. And yet, you insist that it's all for her sake. I have had just about enough of you. You have no idea what it's like to be a mother-in-law. I am the matriarch of this family, and what I say goes. And so the truth finally comes out. Well, at least we both know how you feel about your role in the family. We'll see how well that goes for you, though. How can you do this, you horrible, evil woman? How dare you go and tell my son about what's been happening? Don't you realize what you've done? You've gone and ruined my whole family. What do you mean? I haven't done anything. I haven't told anyone anything, I swear. Don't you play stupid with me. I know that you told Evan all about what you and I have been getting up to here. And now, thanks to you, Evan is throwing me out of the house. Do you realize that? Just what are you going to do to fix this? But I didn't even do anything. I really didn't, I swear. Oh, please. The least you could have done would be to try and confront me yourself, instead of sending my son to fight your battles for you. This is exactly why I knew that it was up to me to train you well. But clearly, you don't even know the meaning of the word gratitude. Or else you wouldn't have done this. I have had just about enough out of you, Haley. Excuse me? What did you just say to me? How dare you talk back to me? Don't you realize just how much trouble you're in right now? Oh, shut up already, won't you? Do you really expect me to be grateful for what you've put me through? You've done nothing but make my life a living hell ever since I moved here. What? What's going on here? I don't understand. You're not supposed to talk to me like this. Well, I am. And what are you going to do about it, huh? Did you really think that I wasn't getting angry under the surface this whole time? No, I just... What do you mean? What has gotten into you? You know, I don't think that Evan quite understood my point of view about all this. He seemed to think that I was taking all this crap from you because I was weak. But that isn't true. I was just hoping that you would burn yourself out of all your bullying. I had hoped that if I put my good foot forward and showed you how eager I was to be a member of this family, that you might change your ways. But I guess my leniency has just the opposite effect on you. I suppose it all does work out in the end, though, considering the fact that you're being evicted. What are you talking about? Who are you, and what have you done with Lorena? This isn't right. You have no idea the kinds of things I'm capable of. I was just biding my time, subjecting myself to the abuse you and your son poured on me. But really, I was just being thorough in my collection of evidence. I wanted to make sure that there wouldn't be any room for any doubt at all. You mean that you did... All of this on purpose? This was all a part of your plan to get Sam and I kicked out of our own home? I wasn't tricking you at all. Like I said, 
I only had the patience to let you set yourself up for failure. I knew it was only going to be a matter of time. And I guess that time has finally come for you. And now you and your no-good, rotten son are going to end up homeless on the streets. There was no trick, though. Just good old-fashioned patience. You're horrible. I didn't think that you were like this. You lied to me. Sorry, shouldn't you and Sam be packing? I can't imagine that Evan is going to let you stay around here that much longer, right? I don't believe this. You're really going to go through with this? You're going to kick your own mother out onto the streets? But I still don't get it. How can you choose this ugly, stupid girl over your own family? It doesn't make any sense. And that's just that, Mom. Unlike you, I don't only see people in the way that they can do things for me. You were nothing but a horrible, manipulative woman to Lorena. And it's clear she needed to be free of you. But son, surely you must know that I don't have any money. I don't even have a job. What am I supposed to do? Please, we're family. You are supposed to take care of me when I get older, not abandon me like this. I already told you that I'm not your son. And I don't care what you do. As far as I'm concerned, this is just kicking out a couple of squatters in my house. You don't really mean that, right? That's horrible. Don't you even dare start with me about what's horrible and what's not. It's clear to me that you haven't done any reflecting about how awful you've been treating Lorena at all. But to make up for all the horrible things you've been doing to her, I'm going to let her keep this house. Please, Evan. Please, don't do this. I promise that we won't ever treat her poorly again. How about you save all your excuses for the judge? I'm sure that a court is going to pay a lot more attention to what Lorena has to say than what you did. That was the last message I ever sent to my mom. Then I blocked her for good. I knew she would only harass me about not taking her side, but she would never admit her fault. After that, she and Sam had to leave the house. I heard they ended up in a tiny, shabby apartment. I guess they couldn't afford anything better. After Lorena sued them for all the abuse they put her through, I offered her the house, but she refused. She said it was too haunted by bad memories and sold it instead. It's been a few months since then. I haven't heard from my mom or brother at all. And as for Lorena, we're still in touch. She told me she has a new boyfriend, and he treats her much better than Sam ever did. She even said she was pregnant and asked me if I would be her child's uncle. I think we both realized we lost people we thought we loved. I'm glad Lorena got out of that hell and found a new life, and I'm thankful she still considers me a friend.